I feel like an idiot. Hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel for an unplanned video. Um, I am making this not an attempt to have a woe is me, feel bad for me kind of video. It's more of a I want you to learn from my mistakes kind of discussion today. I know that I've told you guys and shared basically my life and events this month a little bit more than I have in the past. I've done a lot more vlogs and just like chit more chit chat kind of videos and that's been great. Uh, but I also wanted to show you guys that no one is perfect. Life is never going to go completely as planned and the best you can do is just go with whatever hand you are given. So, okay, I'm sure you've read the title of this already and seen that I'm not the big chippery, hey you guys, happy in this video. But I did want to share with you what has recently happened. And I hope that anybody watching this, you know, will take these words, maybe implement them into their life and maybe I can save somebody from this kind of situation. So. By the time you see this video, you'll have already known that I had an interview with a producer in Los Angeles, and it came completely unplanned, for lack of a better term, it was completely unplanned, didn't know what was going to happen, it was a phone call one day and three interviews the next day. Um, if you missed that video, I will link it above in the card so you know what I'm talking about. But that day, my whole like schedule got turned around, I had to rush home and um, throw together an interview and then there was a bunch of paperwork as it is with any kind of television show and appearance there's going to be a bunch of paperwork and they want a bunch of photos um, and I couldn't cancel the things I'd already had on my schedule which included teaching voice lessons and then I had a three and a half hour rehearsal and in the whirlwind of this day which you'll see if you did watch the video that I linked you will see that it was just go 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 non-stop I actually forgot to even eat this whole afternoon so when I got out of rehearsal that evening I like rushed I broke all of my like healthy eating rules I went and got fast food with people in my cast because I was just so hungry and when your body is in like that high stress gotta get it done you know they're gonna be calling from California at this time and we've got producers on the Skype and you've got to have this music ready like I was singing for producers on a Skype call I did two interviews and then a singing audition for these people. So it was just get home, get, you know, made up, fix your mess and get on your Skype call. Uh, by the end of the night, it was 11, 11.30 by the time I got home and I rushed in the house, you know, washed my face, put on pajamas, made sure I had my lunch for the next day because life goes on with or without a producer in an interview, life goes on. And I came out the next morning, like I got... So I went to bed, got up the next morning, life went on as usual, I washed my face, got dressed, got my bag together, grabbed everything I needed, sorry, grabbing water, and got in my car to drive to the office. And I got in the car, sorry, um, I got in the car, and normally when I drive to work, I either listen to a podcast, Google Play Music, or I'll listen to... Uh, what we rehearsed the night before because I record our music rehearsals on my iPhone voice memos app and I always have a little auxiliary cable and I plug the phone in and I just place it in my little change jar in the car. So I got in the car, pulled out my phone and went to go plug it into all of its cables and set it down to drive to work. And as I got in the car I looked down and I noticed that my auxiliary cables were gone all of my charging cables were gone. Basically any of my electronic cables and cords were gone. And I thought, I didn't move them. I listened to this on the way home from rehearsal. Like, what's going on? Did I misplace them? So I looked under my seat, I looked all over the car because those cables never leave the car. Uh, so I couldn't find the cords anywhere. And then I also noticed I keep quarters and dimes and nickels in the front of the car, like not a lot, just a couple in case I need to park downtown and use a meter. And I noticed all those were gone. And I said to myself after the coins were gone, did I lock this car? I always, 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 like almost to the point of OCD, will click the lock button on my um, 
key. I have like the unlock and lock little buttons on the car keys and I will click it like three or four times. Like the annoying girl that will hear like beep, 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 beep over and over to make sure in my brain it's locked. So that one night that I just was so busy running around all night, grabbed my stuff to go in and pass out and fall asleep after the world's longest day of last minute interviews, lessons, rehearsal, dinner, sleep, completely forgot to lock my car. And I have to say that because they are not to be found. Like all my cord cables, aux cables, iPhone cords, and the little bit of change were gone. And I actually went out to my car the day I noticed. I went to work and I came back out to my car on my lunch break and I searched the car. I wanted to make sure nothing else was missing. Did I move those cords? Nope. From the looks of it, the people that stole from me pretty much just opened the front door, grabbed what they could in the front, and hightailed it out. And they must not have been like very observant. I mean, I'm thankful they didn't take anything else, but I mean, there were my leather tap shoes in the back, although they probably wouldn't care. There were like CDs in the back. Thank goodness I didn't leave any of my recording equipment. Like sometimes I leave my tripod or like chargers from my computer. And one time I did actually leave my computer on the car. Thank goodness I didn't. But lesson learned. And if you are watching this thinking, I've never been broken into, I've never had this. She just must have bad luck. I've never ever dealt with people stealing from me ever in my life. It is the most disgusting feeling. And I know that I'm off easy. Like I got on the computer and reordered all my stuff on Amazon that day. And I just thought, you know, you're lucky. Yes, it sucks that somebody stole your property, but it could have been so much worse. Regardless of whether they take like one small thing or everything you own, the thought of somebody going into your space and stealing from you is probably the most sickening and disgusting feeling I've ever felt in my entire life. It is awful. I wish it upon nobody. And if you're watching this thinking that can never happen to me, that's what I naively thought for the longest time. Now I always locked my car in my house and I made sure everything like that was safe, but all it took was that one time, that one time for me to just let it, you know, leave my mind or have me be forgetful. I can't even speak right now. Everything is leaving my mind for somebody to come by my car in the middle of the night and the $20 worth of electric cables and probably $2 in quarters. I don't think that's a super big thing. I would never see that in someone's car and say, oh, I'm going to take that. But I don't know. I've never dealt with this. I did let my homeowners association know and the local police in my area, which ironically, this is a very nice part of town, but I guess it doesn't matter where you live. They will always find you. So if you're watching this, please, 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 let's cover some basics, things that I obviously just failed. Leave nothing of value in your car. I guess I should say this a little bit more enthusiastically. Leave nothing valuable in your car. Make sure it's locked. Double check and triple check. And I don't know, just be prepared. I mean, I never once thought someone would ever try to steal out of my car, ever. And I have parked in shady areas. I have visited third world countries. I have lived in the not nice parts of New York City when I would go on audition. And never, I've never dealt with this. It's living in the nice middle upper class area of my city right now that I have dealt with thievery. So it can be anywhere. So please just take this story if it's never happened to you and learn from, you know, my mistakes so that it does not ever happen to you or anybody you know. Anyway, that's all that I have for this video. This again was completely unplanned because you can never plan for somebody to steal from you. But anyway, here's hoping the rest of the week goes well and I will keep you updated with all the exciting things happening this month. Anyway, if you guys have dealt with any type of thievery or just wanna share your story of yourself or anybody you know, go ahead and leave those down in the comments. I'm not looking like, it's not a misery loves company sort of thing. I just know that I didn't have to deal with like the worst of the worst. So if you wanna share your stories down below, please feel free. Um, I'm not gonna say if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up because I don't like anybody talking about people stealing, but, Please share this with anybody that you think 
needs to hear the story about how it could happen to you no matter where you are. Anyway, you guys, lock your doors, be safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.